video is going to be an unboxing for this package from Amazon. So in here I should have two 8 port gigabit switches from Netgear. There's one. There's two. And we should have a 16 port switch. Yes, which we have. And then there's a lovely router from TP Link. Awesome. Now, I'm going to set these up later on this week or next week. And these are going to help me create a warehouse network system for running our main network downstairs and it will also allow me to prep equipment in the office without using on-site equipment. So we're going to start with the gigabit VPN router. Now, let's see. Let's just show you the back of the case. So this is what you can do with it and and more and here are the features in every other language apart from English. There you go, so gigabit Ethernet connections on both WAN and NAN ports provide the full advantages of your broadband connections, which is true. Okay, so you can have 20 IPsec VPN tunnels and 16 PPTP VPN tun tunnels Ooh, simultaneously. So that's pretty standard actually nowadays. Um, efficient bandwidth management guarantees requirements of different bandwidth applications. Now, what I found with TP-Link is they are pretty good. There has been times when I've had to reboot these and I've also read comments on other people that I've had to reboot these from time to time. But they pretty much work without any interaction. Okay, so they got SPI firewall, IP, MAC domain name filtering, so ba basic things that you should find in any modern day um, router. On the side you have some more information. This item comes with a lifetime warranty which is always good to know. And on the other side of the box we have the package contents. So the router itself, a power cord, a Ethernet cable, installation guide and resource CD, wow! So let's just open this up. I'm doing this one handed. So is everything in the box, warranty, CD, quick installation guide, silly information, power cord, and the router itself, it's actually quite tiny, you have some feet so you can put it on a desk and it won't slip and you've also got the ethernet cable 
Now this is actually really good because I thought it would be quite big. I'll show you now where it's going to go. This is my server rack. Oops. And it will just sit on top of there. And that's interesting. It doesn't come with these uh, mounts, so I'll just have to leave it there on top of the other router. Right, so this is the Netgear GS116. Now this is a unmanaged um, network port uh, switch with 16 ports. Okay, so you got some feet and some screws there. power adapter in there which I can't take out at this moment there you go some information, user guide and what have you and then the device itself there we go so this will go somewhere along this desk So I'll be using this to connect up many different devices and because it's plug and play as it says there we don't really need to do any configuring now you can get configurable ones or you can get these and they're pretty good let's see how it compares with some of the higher end models that they do right so it's not recommendable obviously because it didn't come with any of the bra brackets the gigabit ports okay no internal power supply now I'm 50-50 on having an internal power supply on a device such as this. This particular model is up to 50% um, lower on energy consumption than its predecessors. And that's always a good thing, especially when it has to stay on, on forever, more or less. So as you can see from this graphic here, Connects to service with gigabit PCI adapter. Connects to VPN, firewalls, modems, da 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 da. Notebooks. Connects to Macintosh with Ethernet. PCs with gigabit PCI adapter. Okay. Basically, you can run this with any device that has an ethernet connection and everything should be if you can configure it on the same network so what I use is one of these at home and I've got my smart TV connected to it I've got my Xbox connected to it, my Sky uh, set-top box connected to it my laptop and my media center PC connected to it and then that is my main hub for getting my data all across the house so I can stream movies music pictures they're all running off one network hard drive then that is plugged into this and it just switches the packets around until I can get access to it from one of my other devices 
and it works pretty well. Never had to reboot it. Um, never had to do anything with it really. Just make sure it's plugged in and switched on. As you can see, the package contents should have a gigabit switch, a wall mount kit, AC adapter, and installation guide. On the other side, it just gives you some more information. It goes a bit more in depth of actually what it has, what it can do, and the performance, emissions compliancy. Okay, so from what I can see at the back here is they do have this model in a E and a T version. So this is GS108. They have a T, sorry, they have an E and a T version as well. And, that, and they support VLANs. Okay. So let's open this. I may need to put you down. Okay, so out of the box, we have like a quick installation guide. We have the device itself. Power adapter. Little feet. And wall mounting screws. So I'll be installing these also later on today or next week. I'm going to leave that here for now. And this is exactly the same, so I'm just going to leave that there. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe my videos to see more. Thank you.